What's up guys? I'm Matt, and by now, you'll have already seen the results of the Pokemon Pack Battle Tournament. And, if I'm going to be a champion, I think I need a belt. So let's make one. Here are the things that you need. A piece of black foam. A piece of blue foam. I've already cut this one but with a sticky back. Painter's tape. A belt that fits you and is easy to get on and off. Red, black, and white acrylic paint. A paintbrush. Scissors. Some glitter if you want it. And the plastic inserts for a Pikachu and Eevee Pokeball collection box. So you are going to want the middle insert that has the rise for the figures. And we are going to cut this now. Alright, so we have it cut out now. We cut the extra stuff off kept the ball form and these little nubs on the side we're gonna have a little fun with that so now we are going to start making this into a pokeball if you can see on here there's the circle right in the middle that will be our basis for the middle line and that's what we need our painter's tape for. So let's tape this up and start painting. Alright, so we have our tape lines in here now. We've got our lines along the side and our circle in the middle open. We're going to do our black paint first. Because... Our red and white can cover up the black after this is done, since it's transparent on the other side, and we're just going to be seeing the other side anyways. So we're going to take our black paint, and we'll just drop it right down in the middle here. And we get a little off to the side, that would be alright. We'll start with that, and we'll grab our paintbrush. And move it around in the circle and pull it up our sides. We might have even gotten just a little bit too much in here. Less is more, especially with this plastic, because it should be. Just a single coat to get it covered. And pull this off to this side. And we'll finish off the circle. Alright, so we are mostly dry now. So we're going to Pull the tape off. And hope that we don't pull any of our paint off. There is a little bit of bleeding, so we'll have to scrape that away. Alright, so we've got our scraping done. Now, this is going to be our top half, and this will be our bottom half. bottom half is kind of cut off a little bit, so that's why it's going to be on the bottom there. We also have these little squares, which uh, we're going to have a little fun with. That's where the glitter comes in. And there are four squares, and of course, there are three starter Pokemon, but there is also Pikachu. So we are going to 
grab some of our colored glitter and drop it in there. We have this yellowish green. And we're just going to drop it right down in there. There's a Pikachu gem, let's say. and covered up. Alright. Then we have green for Bulbasaur. And we will put that in the other square right over here. There we go. Now, we've got another side to go. And we will get a blue for a Squirtle. Last but not least, we need to get an orange or red. Looks like we're doing red. All right. So a little bit of red for Charmander. And we'll drop that right on there. Excess glitter, make the floor sparkle. All right, and we have a little bit inside our Pokeball, which is fine. We're gonna grab our white paint, and I'm just gonna drizzle some right in to these squares. Just let it settle right into them. And hopefully the glitter will show through and be held in by the paint once we're done here. gem squares and we got a little bit of white paint off to the side we'll wipe that off in just a minute and soon we're going to add our white and our red to the ball all right so now let's add some red paint and we'll do this red side first Should probably be enough. And grab our paintbrush and just start spreading it around. And it doesn't matter if we get it on the black here because it won't be seen on the other side. All right, so we have our red done at least one layer and now we are going to add the white make 
sure to clean your brush thoroughly. So that you don't mix your colors. And we're going to do the same with the white and cover everything up. And there we go. So we will let it sit and dry overnight and continue in the morning. Alright, so our paint has dried overnight. And here is our final result. Very nice. As you can see, when the light shines through it, you can see all the imperfections. But it's going to be a belt, so it'll be right up against the body. And our colored gems didn't quite come through. There's a little bit of glitter showing, but not very much. Now, what we're going to do is, with our black foam, we're going to cut out some squares. And have little holes so that they can fit right over top of the gemstones as part of our belt and we'll do that for both sides and keep it just like that for now next we'll take our blue foam and Make some letters with it in the Pokemon font PPBT for Pokemon Pack Battle Tournament. And we will cut those out. And of course they have the sticky back, so we will stick them onto the belt. And once you have them stuck on, there you go. That's what it'll look like. Very nice. Alright, as you can see, I have painted a little extra on the sides here, just so that we don't have a clear spot on the belt. And our next step is we're going to take these black foam pieces back off, and we're going to cut some slits in them so that we can slide them on and hold them in place a little bit better, and also it will work with our belt. Alright, so we've we've cut the slits. We're going to take the belt and slide it down in like that and up over the little nubs and place it in like that. That's the first part. Now if we flip it over our other cut we're going to take that plastic and flip it to the other side. There we go. And now it's more secure. And we'll do the same for the other side. Alright, so both sides are in. Now we're going to take our belt and a loose end. We are going to feed in just like the plastic. So we will tuck it in the flap right there. And bring it on through to the other side. And tuck it through that way. Now the belt will be backwards for how you normally wear it. That's why I said to get a belt that is easily taken on and off so that you can do it from behind. And there is your championship belt. I think I'll do some trimming on the black to kind of round the edges. And there you have it. The Pokemon Pack Battle Tournament 
championship belt. Alright guys, if you're steer, still here after this long video, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos and you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Subscribe now for more content.